Hello everyone, my name is Mark Anton and I'm a program manager at Microsoft IT Showcase. My team offers productivity guidance on various Microsoft products and services which are available at Microsoft.com WAC IT Showcase. We're excited to provide you with a demo of Microsoft OneNote Basics and Beyond. This is a six part demo so please come back and check out our other videos on this topic. With that, on to the demo. Thank you for joining today. My name is Brian. I've been with Microsoft for about eight years, and I've been teaching OneNote specifically for about three years. So I have a lot of experience with OneNote, and it is definitely my favorite tool. The reason why it's my favorite tool is that I can use it for not only my personal life, but my work life as well. So what we're going to talk to you about today is about creating a brand new OneNote notebook. So let's get right to the demo. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go in and create a brand new OneNote notebook. So this is going to be straight from scratch. We go in and open up OneNote and go right to uh, opening and creating a brand new one. So from there, we're going to open up OneNote 2016. Now, if you go and search within Windows 20 or Windows 10, sorry about that. If we go and search within Windows 10, you have multiple versions available to you. Not only do you have OneNote 2016, but you also have the OneNote app. I definitely recommend using OneNote 2016 because it's going to be uh, more, more inclusive and you're going to have a lot more items that you can do within OneNote as well. So that's what I'm going to be demoing today is OneNote 2016. You can see I've opened it up. I've already got a OneNote notebook open right here on my laptop. It's called Brian's Notebook. But what I'm going to do is show you how to create a brand new one from scratch. So if we go up to File, we can go up there and create New. If we click on New, you'll see that I've already synced my OneDrive personal to my laptop. But I'm going to avoid that right now, and I'm going to click on this PC, because this is the most common way that OneNote is created. It's created right on our hard drive. Well, the issue that comes with having it on our hard drive is no one else can access it unless you're on this computer. So that's what we're going to do right now, because later on I'm going to show you how to move it out to your OneDrive. So right here, we can come in, create a brand new notebook name, and create one directly from scratch. So if you just type in Ryan Notebook 2, and then click Create Notebook, it will create a brand new notebook for you right on your hard drive. I'm going to go back because I've already created Brian's Notebook right here, and it's on my hard drive. And I'll show you how we can identify if a OneNote notebook is located on our hard drive as well. So the first thing I like to do when I'm in OneNote is the fact that um, I can see all of my notebooks in one glance. The issue that I have right now is I can only see one notebook at a time. If I wanted to navigate to multiple notebooks that I have open, I would have to click on the down arrow and navigate to each one of those notebooks individually. Well, that could be a pain having to navigate back and forth between all those notebooks. So the first thing I like to do is I like to pin my notebooks off to the left hand side. So from that drop down window, if I click on the little pin icon, it will pin all of my notebooks off to the side. So now it's a lot easier to navigate between all my notebooks in one view. Not only that, but I can expand this as well to see sections that are in each one of these OneNote notebooks. We're at the end of part one. We hope you enjoyed it. Check out part two where Brian walks us through organizing your notebook. IT Showcase has events scheduled every month where you can get your questions answered live. We hope you'll join us and bring your colleagues. You can find our schedule of upcoming events as well as on-demand videos and other content at microsoft.com WAC IT Showcase. Thanks again.